Good evening, fans, and welcome to another broadcast of UAPB Lady Lions Basketball. I'm your host, LaRon Marbley, and you are tuned in to the Delta Plex Radio's 99.3 Beat coverage of Lady Lions Basketball on the UAPB Sports Network. Now, the Jackson State Lady Tigers coming into town, ranked number one in the SWAC Conference, undefeated at 10-0 as they prepare to battle with the Lady Lions. Lady Lions coming off a big win on Saturday and uh, had a pretty much a blowout in that ball game. 77-57 was the final score of that ball game, and the Lady Lions were on fire, especially Zay Green, who posted a triple-double, had 26 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 uh, assists in that ball game. Again, recording her triple-double uh, for that game. Also, tonight, we'll be playing without number three, Joyce Kennerson, and uh, we'll see if Khadijah Brown is able to get back into the action. She was hurt, injured in the game on Saturday, hurt her knee, not sure if she's going to be able to go here tonight, but definitely going to need her as, again, the number one ranked Lady Tigers are in town of Jackson State. It's going to be a big matchup for the Lady Lions. And a little bit later, folks, of course, we'll have Golden Lions basketball for you as they prepare to take on Jackson State. They had a tough loss on Saturday, a close game. I believe the final score was uh, within five points, but the Golden Lions not able to come out on top. And we'll need a big win here tonight if they want to make a, mu a push toward uh, the 20. 22 playoffs, the SWAC playoff. And remember, folks, that if they are in the top four, either team in the top four, they will host the first round of the SWAC tournament right here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. We've already had the starting lineup for the Jackson State Lady Tigers. And they, again, come in ranked number one, 10 and 0 in conference play, have yet to be defeated. Only six losses on the season. And again, Jackson State coach Don Thornton, of course, played there, so she's very familiar with the Jackson State uh, way of life, I guess you would say. Starting for the Lady Tigers, who's led by head coach Tamika Reed, her assistant coaches, LaShonda Cousin, Jonathan Williams, and Chase Campbell. And they'll have a guard, the 5'11 sophomore from Meridian, Mississippi, number one, Tylen Bowler. Uh, starting at forward, 6'1 redshirt junior from Houston, Texas, number two, Maya Crump. At the center position, the 6'4 senior from Gulfport, Mississippi, wearing number four, Amisha Williams Holiday, and starting at the guard position, 5'5 senior from Starkville, Mississippi, number 12, Jariah Ja Covington. And also at the forward, the 6'1 senior from Moss Point, Mississippi, wearing number 21, the Miracle Sims. And of course, the starting lineup for your UAPB Lady Lions. They have, uh, again, need a big win here tonight as they will try to knock off the number one team in the SWAT Conference in Jackson State. Starting lineup for the Lady Lions. Number 54, Maya Pete, the 6'6 sophomore from Chandler, Arizona. Also, T.K. Busby, to Kaylin Busby, the 5'10 sophomore from Dallas, Texas. She'll start as well. Shakina Rachel getting a, excuse me, Shakina Rachel getting a start tonight, wearing number five, six two junior from Miami, Florida. Sade Hudson wearing number two, five eight senior from Memphis, Tennessee. And the triple double stat line athlete, the senior from Duncanville, Texas, wearing number double zero, Zay Green, six two. And she can do it all, folks. She can dribble the ball. She can score the basket. She throws assists. Had 10 boards in that last ball game. And they're going to need a big ball game from her tonight. And I'm sure Coach Tamika Reed and the Lady Tigers will be keen on number double zero in Zay Green. We're just about ready to get underway as you hear the M4 pep band in the background making some noise, playing a little neck as we get ready to tip off here from the H.O. Clemens Arena. Once again, I'm your man, LaRon Marbley, handling the play-by-play -play duties, sitting in for my man, Tim Stubbs, and hopefully he'll feel better soon. And we are just about ready for the opening tip. And remember, ladies and gentlemen, in college women's basketball, there's four quarters, so we're ready to start this first quarter with Maya Pete handling the jumping duties for the Lady Lions. And I believe that's number four, An Amisha Holiday with the tip. Jackson State controls the tip, and we're underway here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. Covington has it, top of the key. Look, swings it to the right wing. Out to number two, and it's going to be an early foul called, and that's going to be on Zay Green. She's definitely going to have to be careful. Definitely do not need her in foul trouble. As again, she pretty much carries the scoring for the Lady Lions, or a big part of it. It'll be inbound from the side. 
Covington will inbound for the Lady Tigers. And a, an official timeout called on the court. Appears that may have a little issue with technical difficulties here as we are just getting back underway. Covington passes it in to Crump, gets it back, sets it up at the top of the key. Dribbles to the right side. Held by Sade Hudson. 2-3 zone by the Lady Lions. Throws it inside to Holiday Williams. Loses it. And the Lady Tigers able to get it back. Crump takes it to the cup. Loses control. Falls to the floor. And it's going to be a tie-up. And the possession belongs to the Lady Lions. Just underway here from the H.O. Clemens Arena. Arena 931 remaining in this opening set. No score on the board. Here comes Sade Hudson up the left side. Dribbles towards the middle. She'll be picked up by Covington. Swings it over to Pete. Maya Pete looking up top. And she loses. It's going to be a turnover. Here comes Crump and the Lady Tigers. Crump stutter steps. Thought about pulling up. Takes it to the cup. Shakes short jumper. No good. Rebound. Zay Green. She's going to bring it up. Pushes it up court to TK Busby. She's looking. Decides better and pulls it out. Tries to throw it in the middle to Maya Pete over her head. And that's going to be another turnover. Here comes Covington. Free throw jumper. No good. Hard off back iron. Gets her own rebound. And she's going to pull it back out to set up. Again, the Lady Lions appear to be in a boxing one, actually. Here's the jump shot. Three point no good by Crump. Rebate by Sade Hudson. And that's going to be a foul on Crump. So Maya Crump will pick up her first foul of the evening. That'll also be the first team foul for the Lady Tigers. Zay Green inbounds to Hudson, who brings up and calls the play. Maya Pete, top of the key. The arc hands off to Zay Green. She's going to take our first three of the night and misses. Rebound Jackson State. Covington will bring it up for the Lady Tigers. Sets up. Yells out the play. Moves to the right wing. Gets a screen from Sims. Swings it over to the left. Inside. And she's going to be fouled. That was Amisha Williams Holiday. So Maya getting her first foul. Maya Peets. Better be the second team foul on the Lady Lions. Shooting two for the Lady Tigers. Amisha Williams Holiday. She knocks down her first free throw. She'll have one remaining. Second free throw is good. First score of the evening for either team. Jackson State leads 2-0 with 8-10 remaining in this opening quarter. Sade Hudson brings it up. She'll be picked up by Covington at half court. Covington moving her feet. Hudson to the right side, looks inside for Maya Pete, gets it inside to her. Pete, spin move, and it is blocked by Williams Holiday, rebound by Zay Green. She brings it back out to the right wing, looks up, crossover move, pulls it back, gonna step back, three-pointer is hard. Shekinah Rachel with the rebound, and she is blocked. Blocked shot by Maya Crump, and they're headed the other way. Crump with the offensive foul. Great pick up there by Sade Hudson to pick up the offensive foul to pull the offensive foul against Maya Crump. And that's going to be Crump's second foul. And the Lady Lions have possession. Again, our score 2-0 here early in this ball game. 7.41 remaining in the first quarter. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you for tuning in to the UAPB Sports Network. And on 99.3 The Beat, here's Sade Hudson driving. Crosses over, loses the handle, gets it back. She kicks it back out to Green. Green gets a screen from Maya Pete. He's going to pull up. Three-point line. Jumper. No good. Off to a slow start. Shekinah Rachel can't handle the rebound into the hands of Covington. She's going to push. She'll be picked up by TK Busby. Covington on the left wing. He's going to drive to the left side. Goes for the left-hand layup. Switches to the right hand and makes the bucket. And Jackson State leads 4 nothing. Sade Hudson pushes it up the left side. Into Zay Green. Thought about it. 
Thought twice, pulled it back out. Screen for Maya. Step back shot. And Green is no good. Shakina Rachel with the rebound and the left hand layup by Shakina Rachel to get the Lady Lions on the board for the first time tonight. Covington brings it up for Jackson State. She'll drive to the right side. Picked up by Busby. Swings it out top and a steal by Shakina Rachel. And it's a scuffle on the floor. Covington able to come back up with it. She passes it out to Bowler. Back over to number 24. Dacia Rogan and the basket is good that was a two-pointer our score now 6-2 Jackson State leading Sade Hudson at the top of the key she'll set up the play swings it up top to Busby and she's gonna pull a D3 and way off is TK Busby rebounded by Holiday here comes Jackson State Covington now top, swings it, throws it inside, deep in the paint, and not able to knock the layup down, and Lady Lions have possession. Here comes Zay Green pressing. She's going to take it, drops it off to a teammate. Maya Pete able to pick it up. Kind of bailed her out there. Shekinah Rachel is going to travel, and that's going to be a turnover. 532 remaining here in this opening quarter. Entering for the Lady Lions, number 32, Stephanie Okawi. Number 25, Kayla Walker also entering. And for the Lady Tigers, number double, excuse, zero, Deja Woodard. Covington will bring it up for the Lady Tigers. Gets it inside through the hands. And the Tigers able to get it back. Here's the shot by Woodard. It's up and hard off the back iron. Tipped around a little bit. Rebound by Zay Green. She's going to press. Pulls back out. Thinks about it. Akut and Okawi misses the layup. Nice look by Green, but Okawi not able to finish. Rebounded by Jackson State. Approaching five minutes remaining here in this first quarter. 6-2 our score. Jackson State up top. Three-point attempt is good. And that's number 24, Deja Rogan for the Lady Tigers to give them an 8-2 lead over the Lady Lion. Kayla Walker will bring it up. Swings it over to Zay Green. She'll set up the play. Being defended by Rogan. Obvious size difference there. And this will be Zay Green. She'll be fouled, but it's going to be on the floor. Foul is called on number 24, Deja Rogan. That'll be our first personal foul. And we have our first media timeout. So we'll take a minute break. Our score early in this game, 8-2 to two with Jackson State leading UAPB, 436 remaining in the first. We'll be back with more on the UAPB Sports Network and Delta Plex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena early on in this ball game. 436 remaining in the first. Jackson State leads UAPB 8-2. And Zay Green off to a slow start. Was off to a fast start on Saturday. Again, posting a triple-double. Not able to get cranked up just yet here in this ball game early. But we'll definitely need her contributing offensively. The Lady Lions will inbound underneath the goal as the officials will meet briefly and we're ready to get back underway Hudson will inbound throws it out top here's Zay Green this mis mismatch there Zay Green shoots over the top of Covington and now we're eight to four Jackson State leads Covington will bring it back up she'll be picked up by TK Busby right wing swings it out top this is Rogan 
And it's going to be a foul called here. And that's going to be on Stephanie Okawi. That's her first personal foul. That'll be the third team foul. Sakina Rachel re-enters for the Lady Lions and for the Lady Tigers, number 23, Jalea Hickman. Covington inbounds. She'll get it back, sets up the play. Held by T.K. Busby. Here comes the screen on the right side. Covington tries to drive, kicks it out. Back out to Covington on the right wing, throws it inside to Amisha. Back out for a three-point attempt by Deja Rogan. No good, rebound Zay Green. She's going to push it. Going down the middle of the lane. She's going all the way to the cup. Up and in for Zay Green. Great move there by Zay Green. Able to capitalize on the fast break. And the Lady Lions pull within two. Eight to six now our score, 340 remaining in the first. Here's Covington out top to Rogan. Rogan looks, top of the key, throws it inside. This is Holiday. Spin move, shot up and no good. Rebound, Maya Pete. And the Lady Lions are two points away from tying this ball game up. Here's Zay Green, she's gonna set up the play. She'll be held by Jalea Hickman. Green to the cup, the layup, oh no good. Nice drive by Green, not able to finish. Jackson State with the board. Here comes Covington. She's going to press. Throws it down. And that is Deja Woodard. Fades away. Jumper no good. Rebound to Kina Rachel. Swings it to Green. Green out front. Here's Sade Hudson. Stops. Shoots the three and no good. Misses everything. Hits the backboard. Jackson State has it back. Covington slows it down. She'll put, bring it to the right wing. Gets a screen. Goes around Pete. Loses it for a moment. Ball is loose. Covington, smart play there, able to regain possession and call a timeout. We'll take a 30-second break as well. 2.36 remaining in the first. 8-6 hour score. Jackson State leads at the moment. You're tuned in to Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 993 The Beat. We'll be right back. remaining in this opening quarter. Our score, Jackson State 8, UAPB 6. Low scoring game here early on, but Lady Lions right here in contention, only trailing by two. The Lady Tigers will have possession as Covington will inbound for Jackson State. Looks, swings to the left corner. Here's the floater, no good, rebound, and it is put back by Deja Woodard. And Jackson State 10, UAPB 6. Kayla Walker will bring it up, swings it to T.K. Busby, around to Tyler Pyburn, who gets the screen from Rachel. Thought about the three, was hit, and that's going to be a foul. And that foul was called on number one, Tylen Bowler. That'll be our first personal. That's going to be the fourth team foul. Lady Lions have it. Busby inbounds to Walker. She's picked up by Hickman. Walker to the left side, spins, comes back right. Looking for a screen, and there's a reaching foul by Hickman, I do believe. So Hickman with her first foul. That's going to be the fifth team foul. And that's going to send Kayla Walker to the line for two. So Walker has a chance to pull the Lady Lions within two. First free throw is up and good. She'll have one remaining as Zay Green waits to re-enter the game. And the shot by Walker is good. Lady Lions within two. 10 to 8 is our score. Zay Green re-enters. Possession, Jackson State. Covington will inbound. It'll be full court pressure by the Lady Lions. 
Covington gets it in. She gets it back. And it's going to be man man to man defense, full court. Sade Hudson picks up Covington. And she almost loses it. Covington to the cup and slapped out of bounds by Shekinah Rachel. Big block by Rachel. Great defensive play. The Lady Tigers will maintain possession as Maya Pete re enters, as well as Amisha Williams Holiday and number 20, Ariana Hunter for the Lady Tigers. Hunter will inbound for the Lady Tigers. Here's the three point attempt. No good by Tylen Bowler. And it's going to be a fast break. TK Busby has it. Not able to control it. Great idea, but not so great execution. So they'll turn it over. Jackson State will have it on the sideline and will inbound to Ariana Hunter. She'll bring it up court. Swings it. The drive, swing back out to Hickman. Thought about it. Swings it to the left side. Hunter thought about it. Sets it up, loses a dribble. Here's the shot by Deja Woodard, no good. Rebound by Hickman, back up, and Hickman puts in the offensive rebound. Jalea Hickman with the bucket. Here's Kayla Walker to Zay Green. Zay's gonna pull a three, it's up and it is short. And again, Green not able to get on track here early in this ball game. But when you have a score like that, you just have to keep shooting. Here's Hunter, swings it to the right. Dribbles it to the right, rather. She's going to bring it out top, throws it inside. It's going to be a quick foul on Shekinah Rachel. She reached in a little bit there and will pick up her first foul of the evening. That's number 24, 24 re-ending Deja Rogan. As the Lady Lions now have 14 fouls. And Jackson State inbounds. Here's the pass inside and stolen by Maya Pete. Swings it over to Kayla Walker. She's going to press, pushing her down the lane. Hop step, Kayla Walker, and she scores. Nice move by Kayla Walker with the jump step and the bucket. 12 10 now, our score under a minute remaining in this opening quarter. And Holiday deep in the lane, able to get it. Shakina Rachel with the rebound after the miss by Holiday. Green will bring it up. Approaching 30 seconds remaining in the first. Green driving to the left. Pulls it back. He's going to shoot a three. Up and no good. Again, not able to get on track here as Jackson State rebounds. They're going to bring it up. Brought up by Hunter. Picked up by Busby. 15 seconds now remaining in this first quarter. Swings it over. That is Woodard going to the basket. No good. Rebound by Rachel. 10 seconds remaining. Here's Green. She's going to press and try to score before the Quarter ends, T.K. Busby, two seconds remaining. Long shot by Green, no good. And that concludes the first quarter. Our score after one, Jackson State 12, UAPB 10. We'll take a two-minute break, and when we return, we'll have more UAPB Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back. We're back and underway here in the second quarter. And shouts out to my girl, Caitlin, back at the studio doing a fantastic job. 12-10 our score. Jackson State has possession. Shot by Rogan is no good. Rebounded by Zay Green. She's going to push it out front to Sade Hudson, who thinks twice and loses the handle. But it was hit by a Jackson State player. So the Lady Lions will maintain possession. Hudson will inbound as she stands aside. Jackson State coach, Tamika Reed. And if I'm not mistaken, I believe her and Coach Don Thorne may, may have even played against each other when they were both athletes in the SWAC. Hudson inbounds to Rachel. Zay Green gets it on the left wing. Comes back out top. Crossover move. Goes to the middle of the lane. Kicks it back out to Kayla Walker. Shoots the three. And it is good. Check that. That was a two-point two point shot, but the basket is good. And the foul is on number 23, Jalea Hickman, which is her second personal. That's going to be the first team foul. Re-entering for Jackson State, Tylen Butler, Bowler. Tylen Bowler. 
and Walker with the. So it was a two pointer and Kayla Walker will have the opportunity for a three point play. We're all tied up at 12 apiece. Just underway here in the second period. Walker's free throw is good. So she converts the three point play and gives the Lady Lions the lead. They apply full court man to man pressure. Walker will pick up Covington. 9.20 remaining in this half. Here comes Hudson for the double team. Swings it to the right. Jackson State tries the middle through the hands of Green, and I thought the Jackson State player also tipped it. But the officials think otherwise, so Jackson State will keep possession as Maya Pete re-enters for the Lady Lions. Jariah Covington will inbound. She throws it in, and it is stolen by Kayla Walker into the hands of Maya Pete. Green back up to Walker. Gains the handle. Swings it to the corner and looks for Pete. And nice steal there by Holiday. Jackson State with the turnover. Forcing the turnover, that is. Covington will bring it up for the Lady Tigers. Kayla Walker will pick her up. Picks up a screen. Covington is going to drive. Tries to lay a block by Shekinah Rachel. Her second block of the evening. And she's contributing greatly to the Lady Lions defensively. As number 21, LaMiracle Sims, will enter for the Lady Tigers. 8.49 remaining in the first half. Jackson State inbounds, looking. And, and I believe she had to be still. That was a travel out of bounds, I think. But it, it's going to turn over. It's going to be a turnover. And Lady Lions will have possession. To Kaylin Busby, re-enters for the Lady Lions. And she will replace Maya Pete. Kayla Walker will bring it up for the Lady Lions. Leading by one, 13-12 our score. Walker looking down the corner for Sade Hudson. Drives, mid-range jumper is up and no good. Long rebound by Shekinah Rachel. Kicks it back out top to Zay Green. And the Lady Lions will reset. Great hustle there by Shekinah Rachel as she gives Zay Green a screen, double screen. Kayla Walker thought about it. She's going to take another three. It's up and it is good from way downtown. Kayla Walker. Bang! To give the Lady Lions. Check that. I think they're going to call that a two-pointer as well. So 15-12 now our score. Lady Lions lead. And again, playing without Khadijah Brown and Joyce Kennerson. As a foul is called on Sade Hudson. That's going to be our first personal. And that's the first team foul of the period. Maya Pete re-enters for the Lady Lions. Once again, Pine Bluff up by three, 15-12 our score. Eight minutes remaining in the first half. Here's Bowler going in, and she's going to be blocked by Zay Green. Great hustle and great defense there by Zay Green and TK Busby. Jackson State keeps possession and will inbound. Covington swings it out top to Rogan. Swings it inside. This is Holiday. Tries to swing it down low. Stolen by TK Busby. And here come the Lady Lions. Leading by three. Green, top of the key. She's going to take the deep three-pointer. And it is no good. Rebound by Maya Pete. Kayla Walker has it. Swings it to Hudson. They'll slow it up. Bring it back out top. Hudson swings it to Green. Green down to Busby. Busby on the right wing, gets a screen from Maya Pete, shoots the three-pointer, and it is good from downtown. T.K. Busby for three. And the Lady Lions now lead 18-12 to 12 with 7.20 remaining in this second quarter. Here's Covington. She's going to try three of her own. Deep shot is no good. Rebounded by Holiday of Jackson State. She shoots it off the glass hard. And not sure what's going on there. Shekinah Rachel re-enters. And and it was a foul called, and we'll get that player here in a moment. 
Inbound and Zay Green with the defense. And actually could have had a steal, it seemed like. Not sure what's going on with that one. 7.07 now remaining in the second period. 18-12 our score, Lady Lions on top. Here's Rogan in the right wing, swings it to Covington. She thought about a three. She's going to pull it from downtown. No good. Rebound by Jackson State, and it's going to be a call. The foul is going to be on Kayla Walker. And that's going to be Walker's first foul. It's going to be the team's third foul. Inbound by Covington of Jackson State. Into Holiday. Swings it to Rogan. Crosses over. She's going to try a three. And it is no good. Rebound Shekinah Rachel. Swings it to Green. She's going to push it. Sets up the play. Coach Thornton giving directions from the bench. Zay Green driving. Kicks it out. Sade Hudson thought about the three. Pulls it in for a mid-range jumper. No good. Didn't follow a shot, but rebounded by Green. And she's going to pull a three, and that's going to be strong off the back iron. A scuffle for the rebound. Kayla Walker ends up with it, but slides while she grabs the ball, and that's going to be a travel call. So technically, that's going to be a turnover by the Lady Lions. Again, still leading by, well, actually leading by six points here. 6.26 remaining in the second. Jackson State inbounds by Sims. Gets it to Covington. She's going to set up the play. She'll be guarded by TK Busby. Here's Rogan driving toward the middle. Swings it over to Bowler. Back out to Covington. She crosses over. Mid-range jumper is no good. It's short. And offensive board by Jackson State. Put back in by Thailand Bowler. Here comes the Lady Lions. Zay swings it to Kyla, excuse me, Kayla Walker. Shekina Rachel is going to take it strong to the basket, and she'll be blocked. And here comes the Jackson State Lady Tigers. Three-point attempt is hard. And offense, another offensive board there by Jackson State. And they're just out hustling UAVB at the moment. Go to Lady Lions still hold a four-point lead as Covington is going to drive. Draws body contact, no good. A fight for the rebound into the hands of Covington, and she misses again. Holiday is there for the offensive board and put back. 18-16 now our score. As we will have a stoppage in play. And it will be a media timeout. So we'll take a one-minute break, and we'll return with more Lady Lions basketball with 5-16 remaining in the half. Lady Lions lead 18-14 over Jackson State. We'll be back with more on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the H.O. Clemens Arena as we prepare to get back started, get back underway. Lady Lions hold a two-point lead, 18 to 16. Has a little extracurricular activities going on and see the ladies of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated during their strut, during the break. Lady Lions got off to a slow start, but now lead by two. Zay Green 
Not, a, not able to get going. She's 2 of 10 from the field. But right now carrying the low, Kayla Walker with nine points. Perfect. Shooting 100% from the free throw line as well as from the field. And Kayla Walker. Here's Sade Hudson bringing it up. And Zay Green will be tripped. And that foul is going to be called on number zero, Deja Woodard. So Woodard with her first foul. That will be the team's second. And, of course, the foul is on the floor. So Lady Lions will inbound on the far sideline. 5.03 remaining in this first half. Pyburn will inbound to Sade Hudson. She's picked up by Covington, who gives her the left side. Hudson dribbles toward the middle of the court. Swings it down and a steal. No, back to Zay Green. Almost stolen there. Green is going to press. Goes to the cup. Short jumper is strong. Rebounded by Kayla Walker. And the Lady Lions will reset. Sade Hudson near the scorer's table here. She'll dribble toward the middle. Now back to her right side. Inside to Okawi. And they say she took a step before she dribbled. That's going to be a travel and a turnover. Shekinah Rachel back in the game for the Lady Lions. Jackson State will have it. Again, trailing by two with 4.30 remaining here in this first half. Covington will jog it up as the Lady Lions are now, again, appear to be in a zone here. Well, it's going to be man defense. Swings it to the right side. Rogan has it. Drives, steps back, short shot. Offensive rebound, and that is Woodard on the offensive board. And this is going to be a foul against Shekinah Rachel. That's her second personal. T.K. Busby re-enters for the Lady Lions as Covington will inbound for the Lady Tigers. And a quick whistle there. And it's going to be a foul before the ball is even inbound. That's going to be called on Sade Hudson. And that's going to be her second personal. And that's going to be the fifth team foul. And that will put the Lady Tigers in the bonus. And at the line for the Lady Tigers will be number 24, Deja Rogan. She'll have two shots. And she's able to make the first. Lady Lions hold a one-point lead with 418 remaining in the first half. Here's Rogan's second shot. It is up, and it is no good. Rebounded by Zay Green. So the Lady Lions hold on to a one-point lead as Zay Green will push. She's going to the basket, swings it out, and they're going to call offensive foul against Zay Green. And that's going to be her second. Second foul of the evening. Tigers will inbound by Covington. Lady Lions man-to-man -man defense. As T.K. Busby will pick up about three-quarters court. Here comes the double team by Kayla Walker. Swings it over to the right. And that is Hunter driving to the cup. And T.K. Busby ends up with it. Swings it out to Sade Hudson. They have numbers. It's going to be a one-on-one. -on -one as Hudson thinks about it and pulls it back out. Kicks it out to Green. Down deep in the corner to Kayla Walker. Walker brings it back out top. She's being guarded by Hunter. Double screen set. Gets one from Green. Green gets a screen from Rachel. Waves it off. Green, mid-range jumper is good. Knocks it down. Zay Green. And hopefully that'll get her started as the Lady Lions hold a 20-17 lead with about 3.15 remaining in this first half. Covington kicks it in to Holiday. Williams Holiday takes the short jumper. It is no good. Long rebound by Sade Hudson. Nice hustle. And she kicks it over to Green. Three minutes remaining in the first half. 2017, Lady Lions on top. Green is being held by Woodard. Crosses over, goes to the right side, turns the corner. Side step, shot up and in. Zay Green with back-to-back -back buckets. And gives the Lady Lions a 22-17 lead now with 2.45 remaining. 
Covington will bring it up. Again, this is the number one team in the SWAC conference in the Jack State Lady Tigers and the Lady Lions doing their job. Here's the shot by Woodard. No good. It's going to be rebounded by Holiday Williams Holiday. And I believe Busby got a hand on it. But Shekinah Rachel will be called for the foul. That's going to be her third personal foul. Rogan re-enters for Jackson State. Okawi re-enters for Pine Bluff. Amisha Williams Holiday will be at the line for Jackson State. She will have two, and she makes the first. 2.32 now remaining here in this second quarter. Second shot is up and good. 22-18 now our score. Check that 22-19 now our score. And Zay Green will bring it up. Giving directions as Kayla Walker will move to the right. And Green's just so tall and long. And Sade Hudson is in a little bit of trouble. Gets it back to Green. Green is looking. She's going to drive to the right in the lane. And she's going to be fouled on the floor by number 12. And that's Jariah Covington. And that's going to be, her, I believe that's her first foul. It's going to be the team's third. And I thought the foul was on the floor, but it appears they're lining up. No, it was. So they will inbound. Zay Green will inbound from underneath the goal. Green now with eight points. As Ariana Hunter re-enters for Jackson State. Shadi Hudson will inbound. Gets it up top to Green. And again, big height advantage there for Green against the Jackson State defender as they try to double team. TK Busby thought about it on the three. She's going to drive, goes to the cup, shoots the shot, and no good. Rebounded by Bowler. Here comes Jackson State. Under two minutes now remaining in the first half. Covington dribbles to her left. Gives it to Rogan. Rogan gets the screen. Thought about it. She's going to pull it back out. Here's Bola for the three. And it is good. So, Tylen Bowler. Here's Walker bringing it up. All tied at 22. Walker's going to penetrate, drive, draw the contact. And she's going to get the foul, get fouled here. And that is going to be on Covington. Jariah Covington with her second personal foul. And Kayla Walker will head to the line. 147 now remaining in this opening half. And we're all tied at 22. Walker has been perfect from the field and the free throw line tonight. And she knocks down the first free throw. Four for four from the line now with 10 points. Leading the Lady Lions in scoring. Walker with a second free throw. It's up, and it is good. Kayla Walker knocks down both free throws to give the Lady Lions a 24-22 lead. Approaching 140 remaining in the first half. Covington will bring it up the left side. Picked up by Kayla Walker. And this, here comes the double team by TK Busby. Covington dribbles right, swings it to Rogan. Back across court to Bowler. She's going to take another three. In and out and rebound by Sade Hudson. Presses it out to Zay Green. Has numbers. She pulls up short jumper. It's going to be off. Way off. And that's going to be possession going over to Jackson State. And again, Green was so hot on Saturday as Deja Woodard re-enters for Jackson State. She is equally as cold here today starting out. Only 4 of 13 from the field. 0 for 7 from behind the arc. But again, the Lady Lions have to have her scoring. And she is a scorer, so she has to keep shooting. Here comes Covington up the right side. Swings it to Rogan. Rogan dribbles left. She picked, she's picked up by Kayla Walker. Busby is on Co Covington. Covington with a crossover move. Short jumper is good right around the free throw line. 
by Jariah Covington. Walker will bring it up. Looks for a screen from Zay Green. Gets it. Drives toward the middle of the lane. Drops it off. Nice pass by Kayla Walker. And the bucket by Stephanie Okawi. Lady Lions up 26-24. Approaching 30 seconds remaining. Here's Rogan on the right wing. She's going to call for a screen. This is Williams Holiday with the screen. Walker, great defense. Swings it back out to Bowler. She's picked up by Hudson. Bowler drives. Goes up and no good. And Okawi got a hand on it. But Williams Holiday throws it out of bounds and possession belongs to the Lady Lions. 23.8 seconds now left. Walker will walk it up. <laughs> no pun intended. She'll set it up, swings it over to Green. Down to Sade Hudson on the left wing. Swings it to Okawi. Back out to TK Busby. Busby shoots a deep three and almost knocks it down. A Steph Curry three, and I'm not sure Coach Thorne was too happy with that one. Covington tries a three at the buzzer, and it is no good. So we are at the half. Lady Lions lead 26, Jackson State 24. We'll take about a five-minute break, and we'll come back with some stats for you at the half here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. Our score at halftime, UAPB 26, Jackson State 24. You're tuned in to UAPB Sports on the UAPB Sports Network and on Deltaplex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in a moment. Double double on Saturday. I mean, excuse me, a triple double on Saturday, and she's going to have to pick up the pace here in the second half if she wants to help lead her team to victory. And uh, not bad defensively, though. You have to give it up to the Lady Lions for the defense they have been playing against Jackson State as they are holding pretty much they've held their players all players under double figures in the first half and they're getting jackson state that is getting production from their inside player amisa williams she's tough under the glass but only one of five from the field but she's perfect from the free throw line as well going four for four she's one of the main players there that the lady lions have kept under wraps in the first half um, as well as jariah covington she only had four points in the first half a uh, good shooter for the Lady Tigers. She also had uh, four boards in that first half. Deja Rogan also chipping in four points in that first half for Jackson State. And again, Lady Lions need Zay Green to pick it up here in the second half. She's taken quite a few shots, but again, not able to connect on many. She's 4-14 from the field, 0-7 from the three-point line, but contributing in other ways, and that's what your main athletes do. You want your, your main scorers, your main athletes, if they're not hitting uh, shots at the moment, then you have to contribute in other ways. And Zay Green doing exactly that. Seven rebounds in the first half. Also with three assists and two block shots. So she's definitely contributing both offensively and defensively for the Lady Lions. Kyla Walker, if she can stay on the track she's on. Again, going three for three in the first half. Five for five from the line. Leading with 11 points for the Lady Lions. She's giving some valuable minutes for the Lady Lions. And coach, head coach Don Thornton. And probably will need a lot of production from Maya Pete as well. Shekinah Rachel stepping in and filling the void of Khadijah Brown as she has 10 boards in the first half. So doing a great job here in the H.O. Clemens Arena as we're about three minutes outside of the second half start. So we'll take a two-minute break. and When we return, we have the exciting second half action from the H.O. Clemens Arena. Our score right now at the half, Lady Lions 26, Lady Tigers 24. We'll take a two-minute break, and we'll be back with more Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and Deltaplex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we are just about ready to start the second half here at the H.O. Clemens Arena. Greek night as the fraternities and sororities wearing their letters and also doing a little strutting on the court here at the half. 26-24 our score, Lady Lions on top. And we'll look for more of the same for the Lady Lions in the second half as they will try to knock off the number one ranked team on the women's side in the SWAC conference in the Jackson State Lady Tigers. 10-0 in conference play. Only six losses on the season. But the Lady Lions doing a great job here. And if they can hold on and route to an upset. And right now sitting number three in the conference on the girls' side. So if 
The playoffs will start today. If the SWAG tournament will start today, Lady Lions will host the first round game. Again, hoping to stay in that top four so they're able to do so. All right, we're just about ready to get back underway. Head coach Don Thorne and head coach Tamika Reed preparing to get started here in the second half. Lady Lions ball, Sade Hudson inbounds to Kayla Walker. And Jackson State in a zone defense. Appears to be a 2-3 zone as Walker swings it to Green. Back to Walker, over to Sade Hudson. Green cuts, gets the pass, looks inside, fakes, swings it back out to Walker. Who thought about it? Inside Shekinah Rachel up and no good on the layup. Rebound by Jackson State, stolen by Rachel. And she's going to go back to the cup and is stripped away by Covington off the leg of Rachel. But great hustle there by Shekinah Rachel. And she's been doing a job for the Lady Lions here, filling in for Khadijah Brown. Has 10 rebounds, 10 first half rebounds. And doing more of the same here in the second half. Here comes Jackson State. Swings it down to the corner. Inside to Williams Holiday. Back out. And she will throw that one away. And that's going to be a turnover. Possession Lady Lions. They'll inbound on the far sideline. And here comes Kayla Walker. 2-3 defense by Jackson State. Walker setting up the play. Swings it over to Zay Green, who has the size advantage over Covington. Back out to Walker, over to Sade Hudson. All the way across court to Green. And the count is going. Green, pump fakes, goes baseline. And she is blocked by Williams Holiday. And here comes the Jackson State Lady Tigers. Covington pushing. Gets it inside to Williams Holiday. And she's going to be fouled. Foul is called on Maya Pete. That's going to be Maya's first foul of the evening. First team foul of the half. It was on the floor, so Jackson State will inbound. TK Busby reenters for the Lady Lions. Inbound by Covington into Williams Holiday. Swings it over. Here's Bowler going up. Shot up. No good. Rebound. And it's going to be a foul called. This foul is going to be called on Shekinah Rachel. And that's going to be her fourth personal foul. So Rachel has been contributing greatly for the Lady Lions. Now in foul trouble with four. She'll be replaced by Stephanie Okawi. And that spells bad news for the Lady Lions. She has done a great job filling in as a three-point attempt is up. That's a two-pointer. Check that. That's a two-pointer by number one, Tylen Bowler. Here comes the Lady Lions. Game is now tied at 26. Kayla Walker handles. Swings over to Busby. Back out to Walker. Down in the corner to Sade Hudson, who drives baseline. Cuts it toward the middle of the lane. Off the glass, and Hudson with the jumper. Short jumper off the glass is good with her Tim Duncan impression. A little kiss off the glass. Approaching eight minutes, remaining in the third period. Lady Lions up by two. Here comes Jackson State. Swings it to the corner. Jump shot is long, no good. Rebound by TK Busby. That shot was no good by LaMiracle Sims. And the Lady Lions will inbound here. Busby will handle the duties. Full court press by Jackson State. Green gets it. Middle of the court. Swings it to Busby. She brings it up on the far sideline. Swings it out top to Kayla Walker. Walker will set up the play. Zay Green open for a three-pointer. Shot is up and no good. Rebound Jackson State. That is Maya Crump with the board. She's going to push it up. Sets it up. She'll be held by Kayla Walker. Now Okawi on the defense. Shot up and no good. And there's another foul called on the play. This one is going to be, be against Walker. Kayla Walker with her second personal foul. And that's going to be the team's third. Inbound by Covington of the Lady Tigers. Here's the inbound by Covington, throws it away. 
Sade Hudson chases it down to be a fast break, kicks it to Walker. The layup is good. Kayla Walker with the bucket. The assist by Sade Hudson. And Walker, again, was perfect from the field in the first half. I don't think she's missed a shot here tonight. Here comes Jackson State. Inside pass stolen by Zay Green. She's going to press. Swings it over to Sade Hudson. Hudson to the cup. And she is going to be stripped. And it's going to go out of bounds off of Jackson State. And Zay Green was looking for the oop there. Sade Hudson didn't see her. She was pointing up for the oop. The alley oop and missed her cutting teammate, but was able to maintain possession. 30-26 now our score. Lady Lions on top. 6.50 remaining here in this third period. Walker will set it up. She'll get a screen from Green. Swings it back out top to Green. Pump fakes. Goes into the lane. Step back jumper is no good. A little bit short. She's getting down on herself, it appears. But again, she's going to take it to the bucket. When your jumper is not falling, it's usually what your coach tells you. Take it to the cup. And Green definitely capable of doing so. Here's Covington. Swings it over to Crump. On the left wing, she's guarded by Kayla Walker. She looks inside, inside to Williams Holiday, and Green comes over to assist, and she's going to be hit with a foul, her third one of the ball game, and the fourth team foul. Shekinah Rachel re-enters for the Lady Lions again, has four fouls on the evening. She's going to be very, very careful. A lot of basketball left to play. But again, she has done a tremendous job for the Lady Lions filling in. As again, Khadijah Brown out, as well as Joyce Kennerson. And of course, Brown is the post player, and Rachel able to contribute in the paint. Here's the first free throw, and it is good by Amisha Williams Holiday. And she'll have one shot remaining. Check that it appeared he said. Two shots remaining. And the second free throw is good. And it was only one. Re-enter for the Lady Tigers, Deja Woodard, as well as Deja Rogan. And TK Busby will inbound for the Lady Lions. Swings it to Shekinah Rachel. Rachel back to Busby. Four court zone press. Busby breaks it. Gets it to Sade Hudson, and they'll set it up. Green has it. And she'll set up the play from the point guard position. Swings it to Busby. Busby thought about it. Drives, and she's going to travel, and that's going to be a turnover. As Coach Thornton gives some directions to Zay Green. Lady Lions still leading by two, 30 to 28. 550 remaining in the third. Covington backs it in, pulls it back out, swings it over to Crump. Crump looks, throws it inside. Here's Williams Holiday up, strong move, and Shekinah Rachel kind of handcuffed there. Of course, she has four fouls. Made it pretty easy for Williams. Here comes Walker. She's stripped by Williams Holiday. Covington ends up with it. She's going to press for Jackson State, swings it all the way to the left side. Here's a three-point attempt, and it is good. And that is number 24, Deja Rogan, knocking down the three to give the Lady Tigers a 33-30 to lead, approaching five minutes in the third. Kayla Walker to set it up for the Lady Lions. Swings it to Busby. Busby inside to Green. Green again with a great height advantage over the guards. Hudson swings it to Walker. She's going to take a three in the corner. No good. Chased down by TK Busby. Great hustle there by Busby. Swings it back to Green. Over to Walker. Walker looking for a screen from Rachel. Down to the corner to Hudson. Hudson looking. Cross court. To T.K. Busby, she's going to take a three and knocks it down. T.K. Busby from way downtown. Bang. Ties the ball game up. 33 all with 440 now remaining in this third period. As, and it's going to be a media timeout. 33-33 is our score here from the H.O. Clemens Arena. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with more exciting Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back.
We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena where the Lady Lions and Lady Tigers of Jackson State are tied at 33 apiece. And again, Lady Lions doing a spectacular job missing two key components of this Lady Lions squad and Joyce Kennerson and Khadijah Brown. Shekinah Rachel has been a big story filling in for Brown. She has at least 11 rebounds here in this ball game as we're back underway. Lady Lions will have three-quarter court press. Swings it across court, and they break the press. Here's Crump. Swings it back to Covington. Covington will set up the play. Swings it back to Crump on the right wing. She's going to drive to the right side. Goes up. C clutch shot there by Crump. Maya Crump with the bucket to give Jackson State a two-point lead. Zay Green will bring it up. Swings it over to Kayla Walker. Broke the press pretty effortless, effortlessly with Zay Green. T.K. Busby inside to Green. Step goes in, and it's going to be a foul call. And that one's going to be on number four, Amisha williams Holiday. That's only her second foul. And that's going to be the first team foul. So Zay Green back to the line. For the... Free throws for the first time tonight, actually. She misses the first. And again, her shot has just been off today. Still able to contribute in other ways. And those shooting four for 17 has nine points. Second free throw is no good. So Green misses both. Jackson State has the board. Here comes Rogan on the right side. Swings it up to Williams Holiday. She swings it across court to Crump. And Covington will set it up out top. Down to Crump on the right side. Crump gets the screen. She's going to drive middle of the lane. Swings it down low to a big, a big man. Misses. Crump with the offensive board and put back. And the Lady Tigers up by four. 33-37 with three and a half minutes remaining in the third. They remain in the 2-3 defense. Lady Lions set it up. Busby on the right wing. Gets the screen from Green. Green is going to drive to the cup, goes up and hard, strong off the rebound, excuse me, the layup. She's able to get the rebound, goes back up and in. Tough, strong move by Zay Green. And the Lady Lions pull within two. 37-35, our score. Covington, she brings it up for Jackson State. Swings it over to Rogan, defended by Busby. She's going to take a three. Rogan's three short, rebounded by Williams Holiday. And she's just out rebounding folks in the post. She's able to get the put back. And the Lady Tigers dominating on the offensive board. 39-35 now our score. Here's Busby looking. She's going to pull a three. No good. Not a wise shot there. Rebounded by Woodard. Crump will bring it up the left side for Jackson State. She's going to pull a deep three. And it is no good. And another offensive board, the putback and the harm. Deja Woodard on the rebound and puts it back. Makes the basket. Foul is called on Zay Green. And that's now her fourth personal foul. Maya P re-enters for the Lady Lions. So two Lady Lions in foul trouble. And Shekinah Rachel with four, as well as Zay Green. She has four. Stephanie Okawi re-enters for the Lady Lions, as well as Tyler Pyburn and Ariana Hunter re-enters for the Lady Tigers. So Woodard will have opportunity for a three-point play here. And the free throw is good. 41-35 now our score. Lady Lions trail by six. Court Three-quarter court press. TK Busby has it, brings it across court. Swings it back out to Kayla Walker. Coach Thornton yelling out the play. Walker swings it over to Hudson on the right wing. Hudson dribbling, crosses over. It's going to take it to the cup. Floater, no good, but she'll be fouled. Hard off the back iron. She's fouled by number 20, Ariana Hunter. And that's going to be her first personal. It's going to be the second team foul. Hudson will go to the line for two. 
Lady Lions trailing by 7, 35, 42 hour score. 205 remaining here in the third. Hudson, the opportunity to pull her Lady Lions two points closer. First free throw is up and good. So Hudson will have one remaining. Hudson only one of five from the field. But knocks down both free throws. Lady Lions trailing by five, 37-42. Hunter will bring it up for Jackson State. Swings it over to the right side to Rogan. Rogan gets a screen. She's going to fake the screen. Goes to the cup. Nice move there by number 24, Deja Rogan. 44-37 now our score. Jackson State on top. Lady Lions have it. Swings it to Hudson from Walker. Pyburn has it. Step back three is knocked out of bounds, blocked by Williams Holiday. And Coach Thorne not happy with that effort there by Tyler Pyburn. She lets her know it. And Maya Peake gets it on the inside, and she is fouled. Not able to make the short half hook. And that foul is on Amisha Williams Holiday. That's going to be her third personal foul. And that needs to be a focus for the Lady Lions as, again, they have two post players in foul trouble. The Miracle Sims reenters for Jackson State as well as Jariah Covington. Maya Pete will have two shots. And the first free throw is good by Maya Pete. Pete has one more remaining. Shot is up and good. Maya Pete knocking down both free throws to pull the Lady Lions within five. Quarter court, three quarter court press. As the pass is giving to Covington. She'll set it up, goes to the left side, over to Crump. Crump thought about it. She's going to pull a three way off air ball. Rebounded by Tyler Piper. And here comes Sade Hudson. She's going to press. Goes toward the middle of the court. Kicks it back out to Walker. Walker inside to Maya Pete. Back out. Swings over to Sade Hudson who takes the three. And she's going to be fouled. She's going to be fouled. And she will have three shots here. And that foul is on number zero, Deja Woodard. It's going to be her second personal foul and the third team foul. As Thailand Bowler re-enters for Jackson State. So Sade Hudson to the line for three. And can pull within two if she's able to knock down all three free throws. 101 remaining in the third, 44-39 our score. Jackson State leads with Hudson knocking down her first free throw. She has two remaining. Hudson with the second shot. It is up and good. 41-44 now our score. Lady Lions trailing by three. Here's Hudson with the third free throw. And she knocks it down. Three of three on that trip from the free throw line. And Hudson pulling the Lady Lions within two. Under a minute remaining here in the third period. Here comes Covington, swings it over to Bowler. Back out to Covington. Lady Lions in a 2-3 defense. Bowler, check that, that's Rogan has it. Cuts left, she's gonna pull it. Shot is up and it is good. She knocks down a three-point shot. That was a big shot there by Deja Rogan. 47-42 hour score, approaching 30 seconds remaining. Sade Hudson on the left wing. Gets the screen from Kayla Walker, swings it over to Busby. Busby, swings it inside and it is stolen. Bad pass and it is stolen there by Woodard. Here's Rogan, thought about it, but she traveled. And that's gonna be a turnover. Lady Lions needed it, 42-47. Five point game, Jackson State winning. Hudson inbounds to Walker. And it appears to be a matchup zone. Inside to Pyburn, over to Busby. 
She looks, thinks about it, dribbles, crosses. Shoots a deep three, and it is way off. Tyler Pyburn with the rebound up and no good. Nice rebound by Pyburn, not able to convert on the putback. So we're done with three. Our score after three, Jackson State 47, UAPB 42. We'll take a two-minute break, and we'll be back with more Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We're back as we're underway here in the fourth period. And Jackson State, Williams Holiday misses, but the putback is good by Deja Woodard. Jackson State now hold a 49-42 lead here in the final period. Kayla Walker handles. She's defended by Covington, swings it over to Hudson. Woodard picks her up. 2-3 zone by Jackson State. Tyler, Tyler Pyburn over to Walker. Walker back out to Hudson. Thought about the three. She's going to drive, and she is blocked. That is Williams Holiday again with another block shot. And she's been controlling the paint defensively for Jackson State. And this one will travel out of bounds, and that's going to be Lady Lions ball. Just underway here in the fourth period. Zay Green re-enters the game. Of course, she's has foul, uh, four fouls, now has accumulated 10 points, only 5 of 19 shooting from the field, 0 of 8 from behind the arc, but has eight rebounds, three assists, two steals, and two block shots, so contributing in other ways besides scoring. Here's Hudson up top, swings it over to Walker. Walker back out to Busby, back over to Walker. She's going to try a three. That's going to be off. Rebounded by, whoa, almost rebounded by, Williams Holiday, she's not able to control it. It goes out of bounds, possession Lady Lions. So they have a fresh 20 on the shot clock with 8.41 remaining in the ball game. Zay Green gets it, step back, thought about it, then steps forward, and a great play there by Zay Green. Smart play. And she thought about fading away, but went back toward the basket and was able to pick up or draw the foul. Maya Crump. Call for the foul. That's her third one. And that's going to be the first team foul. So Zay Green will go to the line. And she'll have two shots. So Green, 0 of 2 from the free throw line. She'll have her opportunity to up her stats. And that shot is off. And again, Green was on fire on Saturday. Having a tough time here tonight. But able to, oh, in and out. Shots just will not go down for Green here today. That ball was halfway down and popped back out. And Jackson State has the rebound. Here comes Covington. She'll set up the play. Goes to the right side. And she's just going to pull a jumper. And this is no good. Rebound, TK Busby. 42-49, our score. Jackson State up top. Zay Green is going to press. She's going to the cup. And she's going to draw another foul. And that's exactly what you want to do if you're not hitting your jumpers. You want to take the ball to the basket. And that's exactly what Green did and was able to draw a foul. And that's on number zero, Deja Woodard. It's going to be her third personal and the second team foul. Green will head to the line to shoot two. As Okawi waits. Okawi waits to check in for Green as he gets her first free throw to fall. And a lot of times when you're talking about scorers or shooters, they just need to see the ball go in the basket. And a lot of times that ignites their scoring. Hopefully Green can do it as well. Second shot is good by Zay Green. So Green will take a break. She'll be replaced by Stephanie Okawi. She'll sit with 11 points. Check that 12 points. 44-49, now our score. Lady Lions trail by five. Three-quarter court press. Back out top to Covington for Jackson State. Lions drive back in a 2-3 defense. Here's Covington inside to Williams Holiday and count the basket. And they're letting her set up too far in the paint. When she gets the ball, she's already in the circle. 
And that foul is going to be called on Stephanie Okawi. That's going to be her second foul and the fifth team foul. Check that. That is the first team foul of the period. And Williams Holiday will have opportunity for a three point play. And she knocks it down. And swinging it over. Inside to Maya Peak. Back out to Walker for the three pointers up and oh, no good. Rebound by Jackson State. Maya Crump brings it up, swings it back out to Covington. She'll bring it to the right side. Back out top, over to the left side. Three-point attempt by Woodard. Deja Woodard knocking it down from downtown. And there's a timeout. And not sure what's going on. But Coach Tamika Reed does not play that, as we see it right here. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. We'll keep it here for now, folks, as there's a little extracurricular activities going on. As Deja Woodard made the three and kind of ran into one of the Lady Lions. Or I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but the referee is discussing if any further action need to be taken here. 55-44 is our score. Jackson State has opened up an 11-point lead with 7.25 remaining in this ball game. And Zay Green able to contribute 12 points. Struggling from the field and the three-point line, only five from 19 from the field, 0 of eight from downtown, two of six from the free throw line. But she does have eight rebounds, three assists, two steals, and two blocked shots for the Lady Lions. Kayla Walker has carried the load offensively, has 13 points on four of seven shooting. She hasn't made a three-point as of yet, but is perfect from the free throw line. We'll take a short break, and when we return, we'll take 30 seconds. When we return, we'll have more UAPB Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. Back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena as we are ready to resume action. And the refs doing a good job there to making sure that nothing gets out of hand and the players are focusing on basketball. All right, here come the Lady Lions with Kayla Walker. She brings it up. Trailing by 11, 55-44. Walker to Sade Hudson, over to Green. Green pump fakes, takes it to the cup, mid-range jumper, and she's going to be fouled again. And that's going to be Williams Holiday. And that's exactly what you need if you are the Lady Lions. That's her fourth personal foul. Now their main post player in foul trouble. She joins Zay Green and Sakina Rachel with four fouls. So Green will head to the line. First free throw is knocked down by Zay Green. She'll have one shot remaining. Here's the second free throw by Green, and it is no good. Maya Pete able to get a hand on it, but not able to come down with the rebound. Board is grabbed by Woodard, and she hands off to Covington, who will bring it up for Jackson State. Gets a screen. Right wing, out to the top, inside to Williams Holiday, looking for a teammate down low. That's Bowler, and she knocks it down from the blocks. Right there near the paint. 57-45 our score. Jackson State up top. Zay Green finds Walker underneath amongst the trees, and that ball is blocked. And Stephanie Okawi re-enters for the Lady Lions. And Deja Rogan re-enters for Jackson State. Sade Hudson to inbound. 6.47 remaining in the game. Into Green. Green looking. It's going to take it toward the middle of the lane. Little floater, no good. Rebound, Jackson State. Deja Woodard with the board. We'll hand off to Covington. She'll take her time bringing it up. As she's trying to yell instructions to the defense. And they finally get it together. 2-3 defense, it appears, for the Lady Lions. Inside. 
to Williams Holiday. Forces it up. No good. Rebound Stephanie Okawi. Out to Sade Hudson. She gets it. It's going to be a fast break. Inside to Okawi. And they're going to call a foul. That foul is called on. On number 24. That's Deja Rogan. Only her second foul. It's going to be the fourth team foul. So next foul will put the Lady Lions in the bonus with 6.09 remaining in the game. That would definitely be beneficial for the Lady Lions with this amount of time remaining. Climb their way back into this ball game. 45-57 is our score. Hudson will inbound. Looks for Green. Looks for Pete. Swings it out to a Busby. She thought about the three. We'll set it back up. Swings it out top to Green. She's going to drive to the cup. Nice shot there by Zay Green. Penetration and the layup. And Green able to penetrate and get the score. Now has 13 points on the evening. It's a screen for Rogan inside to Williams Holiday. Throws it up. No good. It looks like a little push there, but no call there. TK Busby pushes. She thought about it. Looks, swings it back out to Walker. She'll set it up. Back out to Walker. Zay Green inside the lane. And it is stripped and rolls off of Zay Green, according to the officials. That was Maya Crump able to get a hand in. The Miracle Sims re-enters for Jackson State. 529 now remaining. Lady Lions within 10. 57-47 our score. Covington will walk it up. Swings it over to the right to Crump. Crump gets a screen from Sims. Throws it inside. This is Williams Holiday. Left hand layup, no good. Fight for the rebound. Zay Green ends up with it. She's going to press to the cup. And the layup is good by Zay Green. Oh, wipe off the basket. You can wipe off the basket there. That's going to be an offensive foul. And if it is, that's going to be five fouls against number double zero. And Coach Thornton is letting them know she was in the circle. She was in the circle when the call was made. And I'm not sure if that, that is a reviewable play. But he called an offensive foul as the officials direct the players to go to their benches. And I believe we may have our first replay of the night to see if she was in the restricted area. And I'm not even sure if that's a reviewable play. 47-57 our score with 5.09 remaining in the ball game. As the officials will take a look at it. We'll take a one-minute break, and when we come back, we'll have the call for you here on the UAPB Sports Network and Delta Plex Radio's 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in one minute. We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. And fans are getting a little rowdy, and the refs trying to keep control here as a couple of students will be escorted to the side. And again, these kids are just really trying to have a, a good time here. Of course, they're going to heckle the other team and give the refs a hard time. And we're trying to decide if uh, the refs are trying to decide if the player was actually in the restricted area or, and that will determine whether Zay Green actually fouls out or not. So big call here, a lot riding on this call. Green with 15 points now. And we'll see what the official call is going to be. Officials conferenced, checked out the replay. And kudos goes out to the officials as well. They, they did what they're supposed to do, take a look at it. Because you absolutely want to get the call right in such, a important, such an important ball game. Again, as the Lady Lions are sitting at number three in the conference ranking, rankings, and the Jackson State Lady Tigers sitting at in the number one spot. And it appears that that is going to be. As we await the official call.
And we'll get an explanation for you folks here in just a moment. As the official is kind of explaining. And so the basket is good by Zay Green. They overturned the call as they looked at the replay. So the basket is good by Zay Green. The foul is called on number 12, Jariah Covington. And that's going to be her third personal foul. And that'll be the team's fifth foul. So no timeout has been charged to either team. That will be the team's fifth foul. The foul was called on Jariah Covington. The basket is good, and Zay Green will have a chance at a three-point play. And Coach Tamika Reed discussing with the refs, trying to make sure everything is correct. As the official bookkeep, Mr. Keith Horton, lets them know that the time is right. So we have 5.09 remaining. 49-57 now our score. Lady Lions are within eight. Again, with plenty of time, plenty of basketball to play. And with the basket being good, Zay Green should have one shot. And the officials again trying to make sure they have everything correct. Of course, you want the time to be correct. You want the time on the shot clock to be correct. You want to get the right player called. And I think they're doing a fantastic job of that. And we're just about ready to resume action. Again, that was a big call there for the Lady Lions as Zay Green is in foul trouble. Four fouls now with 17 points. But has taken 22 shots in tonight's ball game. Again, with the opportunity for a three-point play. Deja Woodard re-enters for Jackson State. And Green with a chance to pull within seven with this free throw. It's up, and it is no good. Strong off the back iron. So the Lady Tigers hold an eight-point lead, an eight-point lead approaching five minutes. Next break will be a media timeout. As Crump has it, swings it inside to Woodard. Pump fakes. She stripped. Gets it back. Puts it up off the glass. No good. Tipped up by Maya Pete. But Jackson State controls. Here's Covington back out top. She's going to reset. She's picked up by Hudson. As they line up in the zone. 2-3. Here's Williams Holiday. No good. Rebound. Rebound was, it may have been a foul call prior. And that is a foul. Foul called on number two for Jackson State. That'll be Maya Crump. And that's going to be her fourth personal foul. So Crump has four. Zay Green has four as well as Shekinah Rachel for the Lady Lions, who have four. And with the Lady Lions being in the bonus, Maya Pete will go to the line for two. And entering for Jackson State, Tylen Bowler. 49-57. Maya Pete, first free throw is up and good. Big free throw there by Maya Pete. 50-57 our score. Lady Lions trailing by seven. One free throw remaining by Pete. It's up and it is good. Maya Pete with two big free throws to pull the Lady Lions within six. Here comes Covington. Lady Lions extend that zone defense out to about the timeline. Covington gets the screen from Crump. TK Busby is there for the double team. Swings it down to Bowler. She's going to try a three. Shot is good. That was a big shot there by Thailand Bowler. 60-51 now our score. Lady Lions push. Here's Kayla Walker. Jackson State in a 2-3 defense. TK Busby on the left wing. Swings it across to Hudson. Hudson looks inside. Back to Busby. Busby thought about it. Looks for Green, kicks it back to Hudson. Sade Hudson drives. She swings it back to Green. Pump fakes. She's going to go to the cup. Swings it up. Floater is good. Zay Green now with 19 points. The Lady Lions within seven. 340 remaining in the ball game. Covington 
brings it up for Jackson State. Shekinah Rachel comes to the table. She's going to check in. Covington swings it out top. Inside to Williams Holiday. Throws it up off the glass. No good. Rebound by Woodard. Up and no good. A fight for the board. It is loose. And it's going to be a jump ball. Zay Green had it. It's a jump ball called. And I believe possession. Possession will go to the Lady Lions. So that is correct. As Coach Reed is asking if the, uh, the possession arrow is correct. As the official bookkeeper has UAPB possession. And the officials will discuss it. They will check with the official bookkeeper. And the official bookkeeper will have As, and not sure what's going on here. I think the Greeks getting a little bit excited here. They wanted to get on the floor as we're ready to resume action. And it's going to be tough there as the Greeks may have just cost us a technical foul by being on the court during the game. My goodness. In a close ball game like this, you cannot have things like that distracting or maybe costing you buckets. And here's the official call. And again, we'll await the official call. As you hear the announcer, Larry Williams, letting everyone know not to come on the, the floor. And that was UAPB's first warning. And again, that could have been a crucial mistake there, but that was UAPB's first warning. All right, 53-60, we're back underway. 320 remaining in this ball game. And we have a good one on our hand, folks. It's the number one team and the number three team in the SWAC conference right now, Zay Green has it. She's going to drive to the right side, pulls it back out on the right wing, swings it up top to Sade Hudson. Hudson looks inside to Rachel, over to Kyla, Kayla Walker. Walker pulls it back out, defended by Rogan. Gets the screen from Rachel and turns it over. They're going to call a foul there. And that's going to be on number 24. Deja Rogan, her third personal foul. And the Lady Lions in the bonus. Just under three minutes remaining in this ball game. 256. Lady Lions trail 53 to 60. Kayla Walker will have two shots here. TK Busby re-enters. And she will replace Maya Pete. So it will be Zay Green and Shekinah, Shekinah Rachel rebounding for the Lady Lions. Kayla's Walker's first free throw is up and good. Walker, perfect from the line tonight. Six of six. Now have 14 points for the Lady Lions. Here's her second shot. It's up, and it is good. Kayla Walker, two big free throws to pull the Lady Lions within five. 250 now remaining in the ball game. Lady Lions need a big defensive stand here. Kayla Walker will pick up Covington. Here's the double team coming from Hudson. Covington turns the corner, goes to the cup. Blocked by Rachel, but rebounded and put back by Deja Woodard. 62-55. Now our score. Jackson State leads by seven. T.K. Busby gets it from Walker inside to Green. Green turns, backs it back out, pulls the short jumper. A little strong. Rebounded by Jackson State. That was Williams' holiday on the rebound. Covington slows it down. 
Approaching 215 remaining now in the ball game. Covington gets a pick from Woodard. Let's drive toward the lane inside and strong move by the guard Covington. Able to get the basket, Jariah Covington, to give them a nine point lead. Busby in the corner. Looks out, swings it out to Walker. Lady Lions need a bucket here. Sade Hudson on the right side. She's going to take the deep three way off, and that's going to be an air ball, and it goes out of bounds. Lady Lions going to have to apply a little pressure here. 148 now remain as Maya Pete re enters. Nine point game. Covington will inbound for Jackson State. Gets it into Woodard. Covington will bring it up. She'll be picked up by Kayla Walker. Three quarter court. Man press. Here's the double team. Hudson looking. Swings it out right there, and it's going to be a foul. A foul on Sade Hudson. That's her third personal foul. It's only the team's second foul here in this period. And it is on the floor. So Jackson State will inbound from the far sideline. Covington into Rogan. Rogan gets the screen from Woodard. Goes toward the middle of the lane. Crosses over. Goes left. Pulls it back out. Swings it out to Crump. Crump thought about it. Swings it back to Rogan. Rogan is going to drive, pulls it back, loses the handle. She picks it back up and starts dribbling again. Not sure what happened there. She tried to cross, and the ball hit the floor. She picked it up and started dribbling again. I think the ref said it was kicked as the shot was blocked, and Shekinah Rachel will reenter for the Lady Lions. 119 now remaining. Only two seconds on the shot clock for Jackson State. And... And that should be a shot clock violation. Well, they may have called jump ball prior to. Not sure if the shot clock expired prior to the call. And that may be a reviewable call there. I'm not sure. As the officials will gather, have a conference. When the ball was inbound, it was only two seconds on the shot clock. And we'll see as the officials will, will take a look at it. And again, that's going to be very, very close. We'll take a short break as well. We'll take a minute break, and we'll come back with more UAPB basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. We'll be right back. We're back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena. Thank you, Caitlin. Great job at the studio. Definitely appreciate you. As the officials have determined that there was one second remaining on the shot clock, as Maya Pete and Shekinah Rachel will come back into the ball game. TK Busby comes out. So it'll be one second after the tie-up. Possession belongs to Jackson State. Here's the inbound, and that should be a shot clock violation. And it is. That is a shot clock violation. Possession goes to the Lady Lions. TK Busby re-enters for Maya Pete. Shot clock violation. And the ball belongs to the Lady Lions. 115 remaining in this ball game. Lady Lions trailing by nine points. They need a crucial basket here. Here's Kayla Walker. She's going to bring it up quickly to TK Busby. Stutter steps, kicks it inside to Shekinah Rachel. Goes up, misses, and the rebound is snagged by Deja Woodard. Covington brings it up for Jackson State. She'll get across half court. Crosses over, and she's going to be fouled by Sade Hudson. That's going to be four on Sade. Maya Pete back in for Rachel. Under a minute remaining, 58 seconds, 64-55 our score. And it appears we have a timeout on the court. We'll take a one-minute break, and we'll be back with more exciting UAPB Lady Lions basketball action. 64-55 our score with 58 seconds remaining on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat.
And we're back to the action as Jackson State has possession. They've just been called for the offensive foul. The hook by Maya Crump. And that's going to be, that may be her fifth personal foul. And I believe that is. That is five fouls on Maya Crump. See, she's done for the evening. As we have an official break in play. And and that is, it has been confirmed. Number two, Maya Crump for Jackson State has now fouled out of the ball game. And that'll be the, of course, after five fouls. Really doesn't matter in the ladies' games as the Lady Lions will have two shots. I should have two shots when we resume action. 55-64 is our score. 52.5 seconds remaining in the ball game. Lady Lions trailing by nine points. Need some things to go right here to be able to pull this one off. But it's definitely, it is definitely doable. As again, trailing by nine. Need to make some shots. And it was, as it was a player control foul, so they will inbound inbound near their bench. Zay Green will handle the duties. Again, 52 and a half seconds remaining. Inside to Hudson. Needs to score quickly here, don't have much time. Hudson swings it back over to Kayla Walker. Again, Walker takes it to the cup and not able to get it in. And last touch by the Lady Lions. Jackson State will have possession here. Now 41 and a half seconds remaining. Need a turnover here by the Lady Lions. And Kayla Walker almost gets it. Here's Rogan with it. Kicks it back to Covington. Foul by Walker. And that is Kayla Walker's third foul. And the fourth team foul. Jackson State will inbound in front of UAPB bench. So you have a reset of the shot clock. Covington gets it inside to Williams Holiday, and she's fouled again. Kayla Walker. That's going to be four on Walker, and that will send Williams Holiday to the line. First free throw is up and good by Williams Holiday. She'll have one shot remaining. And the Lady Tigers with the 10-point lead. Second free throw is up, and it is good. And it'll be a timeout on the court. We'll take a 30-second timeout as well, and we'll be back with the exciting conclusion here from the H.O. Clemens Arena. Our score, Jackson State 66, UAPB 55. We'll be back in a moment with more on the UAPB Sports Network and 99.3 The Beat. Back inside the H.O. Clemens Arena, 35.3 seconds remaining in this ball game. Lady Lions trailing by 11, 55 to 66. As Lady Lions will inbound near their bench with Sade Hudson. Kicks it all the way over, and it is stolen by Rogan, and she's going to press, sidesteps, and makes the layup. Deja Rogan. 66-55 now. Kayla Walker wasting no time, going straight to the cup. The layup up and no good. Rebound by Williams Holiday. And that's going to pretty much do it, folks. Rogan brings it across court. And she'll pull it back out as, say, Green attempted the steal. 
to no avail. Knocks it out of bounds. And the Lady Lions pressed very well in this ball game, not able to come out on top as we approach 13 seconds remaining. And five seconds stolen by Zay Green. Oh, and they call the offensive foul there. And Zay Green. As she ran into Covington, Covington a little bit shaken up. Zay Green made a statement to the ref, and he did not like it, and she now has a technical foul. And I'm sure Coach Thorne is not happy with that. And it's been a frustrating night for Zay Green, not able to get on track. And again, not making excuses for her. Of course, you have to keep your composure. She finished the night with 19 points, 11 rebounds. As Ariana Hunter re-enters for Jackson State. And we'll have the technical foul shot by number 24, Deja Rogan, for Jackson State. So she'll have two shots. And Jackson State will have the ball back as well. First free throw up, no good by Rogan. She'll have one shot left. The officials will meet momentarily. One shot remaining for Rogan. 2.7 seconds remaining, 68-55 our score. Jackson State on top as Rogan makes the second free throw. 69-55. As Shekinah Rachel will re-enter here for the final play of the game. And I think that the possession will belong to Jackson State. Again, only 2.7 seconds remaining. And remember, folks, in the post game, we'll talk with head coach Don Thornton about the Lady Lions' performance tonight. And it is official. Our final score, Jackson State 69, UAPB 55. And again, a tough night for Zay Green. And on a tough night, she finishes with 19 points, 11 rebounds, three assists, two steals, and two block shots. Followed by Kayla Walker's 15 points, shooting 50% from the field, four of eight, seven of seven, perfect. 100% from the free throw line with two rebounds and four assists in the loss. Lady Lions only shooting 30.4% from the field in this ball game compared to Jackson State's 36.1%. Ten percent from the three-point line, and that really hurt us in that ball game. Only ten percent from behind the arc, going two of twenty from behind the arc, and again, tough, tough ball game, tough, tough loss for the Lady Lions. We'll take a one-minute break, and when we return, we'll have head coach Don Thornton on the line to talk about today's performance. Our final score: Jackson State sixty-eight, UAPB fifty-five. You're tuned into Lady Lions basketball on the UAPB Sports Network and on 99.3 The Beat. We'll be back in one minute. <laughs> 